Guys, let's get on this salsando. Right now, we're getting ready to learn some salsa, y'all. So uh, we're gonna add salsa to compa. Salsa sounds beautiful with compa, guys. As you guys know, compa is a derivative of uh, Spanish music, like merengue, salsa, whatever. Compa came from that uh, with some African background to it, too. So we're gonna go ahead and um, learn salsa here. So if you guys notice what I'm doing, this is the key of C. We're doing a regular and day groove, which is what? What's your chord progression? One, four, five, four, one. That's your chord progression, right? We're going to cross a line through that progression. We're going to change the progression because this progression also fits. So I'm going to give you the timing and the new progression right now, guys. So right now I'm doing this. I'm using the harmonic minor of C, which is this. A, C, E. So while I'm on C, I go one, two, three, four. And then I do this for my second chord. So there's only two chords. We turn the, the C, F, G, F, the one, four, five, four, into two chords. So that's why I do this, like. And the, and the, and the. So at one point, you're doing A, C, E, and then you're the next half, you're doing B, D, F. So that's the beauty of that. It's very simple. Um, and you could even do that with soloing. I'm going to give you an example real quick about soloing before we get back to the salsa. What I'm doing? I'm just using these notes here. So that's a different style of compa, guys. You guys should start using it. Not too much people are using that style. Back to the salsa. So what do? How do I start it off? Salsa, you know, is about half steps. Like uh, it's just. So, uh, but what, how do I start it off? I do this. I walk from the G to this A, because this is your progression. It's A. So we're going to walk. We're going to do, remember what I told you about walking to your note of the next chord? That's what we're doing. Okay. So I'm going to do it in a higher octave. It sounds good. And it sounds good when you use both hands. So I go G, A flat, A. Then I go C, E, and then G, A flat, A. So, and then I hit E, and then I go to the next one, which is A. I just do everything but go up a, a half step. I go up a whole step, actually. A, B flat, B. Very simple, and you just keep doing that over. So, guys, take the time out and practice that. Uh, you don't have to do the C, F, G, F, one, four, five, four. You can do this, the six and a seven. You can just do that, so. And then you can add little half step patterns like. That could fit in any part of that. So it's a beautiful, it, what we're doing here, this is a diminished chord, uh, before we continue. This is a diminished chord. It's a B diminished, or what you might call your seventh chord. Uh, so guys, get in the habit of using that with the and day, guys. It sounds really nice. So we're going to go ahead and uh, practice more on the, the simple technique. And we're going to try to invert it to see how it sounds. I haven't inverted it yet, so I don't know how it's going to sound inverted. Uh, like if we invert it, we put the B up here. And yeah, it sounds good. So... You see? You just invert it. Remember what I told you? Inversions make your solo sound beautiful. You can to go into another pattern, inversions, where you move, you move one note higher. So.
So we're going to go ahead and uh, play the beat and try different inversions of this salsa pattern, guys. It's going to sound real nice. I hope you guys start using that in your and day playing. Don't just keep soloing like... Whatever. We're just going to do the salsa pattern. We're going to try to expand our keyboard playing. Uh, guys, if this is a little too advanced, go ahead and get my beginner's copa course. I have tons of content on just keyboard playing in the copa setting and the copa uh, dynamic, the copa context. So uh, let's get into this, guys. We're going to practice this some more as I end this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Roland Blase. Go to copakeyboardschool.com. Get your sounds and lessons, guys. And I have backing tracks like these. This is the and day in C backing track on the copakeyboardschool.com website. Um, and guys, if you have problems downloading the backing tracks, just right click it and save the link as, and then boom, it'll be saved wherever you save it as, whether on your desktop or music folder. So guys, if you have problems downloading the backing tracks, the practice tracks, like the one I'm playing here, make sure you guys, you can reach out to me guys, Roland Blase, comment on the videos, comment on the course, comment on the website, whatever, uh, compakeyboardschool at gmail.com. I'm always available for you guys. Love you guys, respect. We're gonna get back to the beat, guys. So let's move it up, uh, let's move it up an octave. This is Roland Blase. Um, one thing I want to tell you that uh, Compa, you will learn Compa, you will know how to play. And we've just released the official beginner's Compa course. In the Compa course, you will learn the key, how to find the key, what is the key, scales, chords, Compa chords, Compa chord progressions, the number system. You will learn minor chord progressions, Compa rhythm. Copa course, how to chake, simple solo tips. You will know how to start your journey off playing Copa. For $19.99, this Copa course has just been released. Go to copakeyboardschool.com. It will be the first link on the top of the page. And you will begin to know how to play Copa in no time. Most of the key elements to Copa keyboard playing is in this course. So guys, do not wait, do not hesitate. Get your Copa course now and start playing Copa right where you're at. Something that's good for me.